the high seeds of pirateism is calling us. Let's find out right after this. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please Lord give me a sign A sign I wanna be the greatest Everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest I make this every day and I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement, the top is so vacant I don't hear shit that I think is amazing Waiting for my day when I'm playing Sold out shows for a thousand faces Hey, give me that crown Get in my way and to be put down It ain't your Sorry, everybody. We're back at it today So we have another Live Bearded product Cult Pirate Drake Alright, so I have mixed feelings about Pirate Drake right now um, Let me go over to the butter first and everything else. Before I get too into it, I'm gonna pause this right now because I fucked up. <laughs> um, I thought I clicked the whole kit. I didn't. I ended up clicking only the oil, the butter, and the wash, and you get the conditioner. I'm not too concerned to be honest with you guys, because knowing the beer's products, we're talking about the scent more, not the products. The scent is, I want to say, hit and miss. Um, I'm gonna get into it in a minute. But I want to go over the butter first. I have a little interesting story there. So the butter, if you see here, is a little bit of a hot mess. Not for me. I actually came in like that. I used a little bit to see how the scent, how it felt. Felt like always, like I thought, the bearders, top of the line. I'm not going to deny that. This is the replacement they sent me. I got this on Saturday. If you see, I used a little bit of it. Because my beard a little shorter now. Don't need that much. So, I got this in, and I believe it was Wednesday, if I'm not mistaken. Last Wednesday. So, I opened it fine. Looked at it, it was like, shit, I fucked up. When I opened this, this, like you see, is in a hot mess. The next day, first chance I got, I emailed the bearded. Took a picture, sent them. They require pictures. Went back and forth. I believe I spoke to Justin. Justin was a pretty cool guy. And I explained to him, listen, I pay for this. I like to get it a product 100% the way it's supposed to be. And he explained to me, and like I'm going to say to you guys, in the in the summer, this might happen. There's a very good possibility because we're in 80, 90 degrees. Butter and heat do not go well with together. I dealt with other companies. And the other companies won't do what the beer did. Not all of them. Some of them. They said, listen. Is our hands is on the shipper. Unfortunately, it's the weather. Blah blah blah. Whatever. Not live bearded. That's what I liked about them. They said to me, "Listen, we will ship you another one. Not an issue, but we cannot promise you it's gonna happen again." And like I thought, came in fine. That is a plus. So that's one reason I love live bearded so much because they will take ownership if something's going wrong. Shipping happens. They will ship you a replacement. No questions asked. Before I get into the order, I want to do a little bit quick history lesson. Who is Pirate Drake? I feel like that is very important to know why we have the scent the way it is before I get into the details. So, Pirate Drake was actually known as Sir Drake, and I'll get into why he was Sir Drake in a minute. So, he was a married man, lived on the sea, he fell in love with the sea, traveled to England and America back and forth under Queen Elizabeth I, I believe. And at the time, a little bit wanted a piece of the pie, he wanted to get into the you know the, the slave trade and all that stuff. It has dark history, it is. I'm not a fan of that part of history, but it's still history. So, over time, the, he was traveling, getting loot for, for the crown. He was attacked by Spaniards and he lost almost everything. So eventually, he became a privateer, also known as pirate, under the crown. Back then, you have to keep in mind, there was no laws in the seas. He had no coast guard, no navy, no none of that crap. So whatever happened in the sea was free game at the time. So over time, he was attacking pirates and everything. So eventually, I believe the queen, yeah, the queen, Queen Elizabeth and King Philip of Spain signed a peace treaty. She... Put him to work to do all this. See, publicly did not announce. Yes, that was my man. 
So she let that go, keep it under the rug. He continued doing it, eventually sell towards San Francisco, I believe. Yeah. And as he was going towards that direction of the ocean, it was too cold. So he tur turned like, yo, I'm going to darken America. It's a little warmer. So over time, the peace tree crumbled. So Queen Elizabeth said, you know what? I'm going to knight you. He, she knighted him as the peace tree fell apart and went to work for her. Gave him a, a good amount of fleet and attacked the Spiner. And trust me, he was happy about it. He had a big vendetta over the years against them. So he attacked them and everything. So, so when he attacked them, he, he ended up getting all this loot and he gave it to Queen Elizabeth. That's the catch I think is very fascinating because as much she didn't want to publicly announce, that's my man, I put him to work. She still wanted to take all that loot over the years. Anyway, so fast forwarding over the years, he ended up catching an illness and dying and they were buried him in seeing armor. Unfortunately, we never found his gold where he buried and his body. I feel it's a very fascinating story to actually understand why uh, Pirate Drake is very public. Um, it, it's more details to it. I'm just giving you a very brief, brief um, summit of the story. Um, please look it up. It's all over the um, internet. If you type in um, Pirate Drake or Sir Drake, you'll find it. It's very fascinating. I do recommend it. It's a good sit down and watch. So guys, let's get to the oil. The oil um, is a medium viscosity. Um, it's not bad. Um, I will put the ingredients somewhere on the screen. Don't ask me worry because I haven't edited it. <laughs> um, but it's pretty good scent. Um, it's not the best scent I ever smelled from them. There are other ones better. They say it smells like excuse me, uh, more like a mojito. I don't personally see it. I see, the ingredients on it is uh, what is it? I have goddamn fine print. Bay rum, refreshing lime, and cool mint. I do see the cool mint. It is pretty strong. I'm not going to say it bullshit. It is pretty strong. From 1 to 10, I'll give it like a 7. Yeah, a 7 fair number it is. I know they did this once before, and they brought it back, and it was very popular back then. Um, the oil, it's decent. Like I said, I'm going to put a, um, the greens on, on the screen. Um, like I said... Wow, can't think today. The wash. The wash is what I expected to do is clean my beard. Live beard is known for the washes. They're really good. They're known for the washes and butters. Those two things I was given. So it, the wash, it cleaned it. Um, it wasn't stripping, so it was running. It was not a gentle wash. Can't really complain there. Overall, it's a good one. Uh, let me see on the line if they still have any. Yes, they do actually. They do have fifty-seven dollars for the three and for full kit. I believe. Where is it again? Uh, let's see. Uh, seventy-three dollars. So you can still buy this to this day. That's a good. And they usually don't have senior scent for much longer once they release it. And I think they've really stocked up on this one because how big a seller was the first time around. So overall, would I recommend it? Yes, I would. But keep something in mind before I say yes for sure. If you're not really a minty person. You may not like this. I'm not a minty person. I'll be straight up with that. But minty has a lot of beneficial, beneficial characters to the beard. Excuse me. With growth, um, he, um, growth is one of my know. I'm trying to think of the other ones. Can't come to my mind right now. But I know there are a couple very beneficial to the beard. So keep that in mind. If you're not a big fan of it, consider still using it because how good it is for the beard. So, let's relapse really fast. So, oil, top of line, wash, top of line, and butter, top of line. Except the little hiccup I had, they took care of it. Boom. So, overall, what would I scale this? Score this, excuse me. I'd give it a 7. I think 7 is a fair number. Um, even the um, smell is not my fan. I think it's 7. I am being a little biased because of I'm not a minty person. So, um, overall, if you're thinking about picking this up, please let me know in the comments if you have tried it. Let me know in the comments also. If you're not, buy it. Try, try it out. It's still on the market. Except that, I'll see you guys later and stay fresh.